In this video, we've got another 07 GM cluster. Uh, another display issue, common stuff. So let's take a look. I sure hope this guy wasn't going 40 miles an hour when he unplugged his cluster. Um, I do see some fingerprints on the uh, the display uh, there. So it looks like this is probably a previous repair attempt. Let's open it up and see what we have to work with. Oh yeah, that's not even, that's not, that needle's not set right. Okay, so we got a couple thumbprints on the screen, so definitely somebody has been in here. Let's see what they did. Okay, so I see a missing MOSFET. This is the uh, the MOSFET that runs the hot wire circuit, and it's gone. And if you look close, it has been, looks like it's been just ripped right off the board. Uh, okay, so if you're going to attempt this repair yourself, please don't just take a pliers and rip the component off the circuit board. Um, you're not doing yourself any favors. Uh, so now it takes me longer to repair it because now I have to run jumpers, which in the end end up end up costing you more money. So uh, if you don't have the right equipment, if you can't unsolder it, please don't just chisel it right off the board because uh, there's no foil left to solder to. Uh, see if I can get a close up on that. See that there's no copper foil. There's nothing to solder to. So now jumpers have to be run. So I'm gonna. Pull this up under the microscope and we will take a closer look and get to work.
So I did what I usually do in these situations. Uh, cleaned up, pulled off all the damaged foil, just got it out of the way. Um, and then I lifted the MOSFET, soldered it directly to the transformer lead that gives it a bit of a heat sinking ability, a little, little thermal mass to uh, dissipate some of its heat. Soldered uh, the heat sink tab directly to the transformer and it's lifted up off the board. I do that on purpose because the carbonized burnt boards can conduct and you want to avoid putting a new component on an area that's conducting in places it's not supposed to conduct. Uh, and then just ran jumpers. So um, I'm going to power this thing up now and we'll see if it works. All right, we have vacuum fluorescent displays are back up and running. I'm going to let this run for a bit, uh, give it a good burn and test, and then uh, reassemble. So it ran in fine, passed my test. Um, so maybe you're thinking about repairing this yourself. Maybe you have one of these uh, Chevy trucks and uh, you're thinking about doing it. Um, this is one of those jobs that it's not hard. But having some good tools, know how to use them, some good solder, uh, goes a long ways. Um, also, wash your hands before you take it apart and uh, try not to touch the face I and mean, the fingerprints. Sometimes they kind of smudge in there and don't really come out. But uh, if you can't do those things, maybe you should send it off, have somebody do it. Now, if you do have some soldering experience, um, again, like I said, it's not hard. Uh, some of these where the foil's been destroyed is a little bit more difficult. But, uh, well, you just saw what it takes to fix. And uh, you can decide for yourself. But uh, this one's done. So thanks for watching.